it's coming guys this is gonna be the redeemer and since i haven't applied my ccus yet i'm gonna rely on this guy here to bring his and he's on his way as you can see coming in pretty fast from one of the rest stop stations yep he's here is he gonna be able to stop is the question oh yeah yep that's definitely the redeemer guys oh jesus yeah wow look at this jesus man look at the wheels okay so this is the first time we're setting foot inside the redeemer i can already say it looks a lot like the vanguard series so this here is uh, the two scu cargo space i think so here we have a wardrobe much on, much like the vanguard series so you can put stuff inside probably for clothes and uh, maybe suits so that's the other one so here is the bathroom it should have a toilet somewhere yes there we go so here we have the first two bed bunks i mean this one is one and one and two and uh, on the left there is three and four so we have more wardrobes here this is definitely the refrigeration unit so basically you can store food there there is a coffee maker i mean this is the coffee maker and this here who knows maybe another one these are non-interactable for now the boxes so here first we have four jump seats and something that says supplies on it and we cannot open it this is also non-interactable for now but i assume this is gonna be the server case so basically this is where, where the servers will be and this is the owner of the ship captain mcfly then we have some uh, nice weapon racks here so i assume those are four gun racks standard size and this here is the rear section which accommodates all of the equipment actually this is the quantum drive here it's a Vatec, which uh, should be pretty fast. Let's see what this was. It should have a label. That, that's the power plant, okay. So power plant is pretty beefy. This is size 3, so basically the same size as uh, the bigger ships like uh, Reclaimer. So this is two batteries. So this... Uh, it should be interactable, but I cannot open it. So that's the scanner and the radar access. So we're gonna be able to change those as well, I think, at some point. Here we have the two shield generators, which are size 3. So basically the Redeemer has been upsized from one single size 3 shield to two. So basically now it's equal to all the Hercules series in toughness and to the hammerhead in that regard at least in the shielding section and this here was uh, the core which is a size 3 oversized unit just to be able to cool all those weapons and stuff so what do we have here here are some things that uh, john crew promised to be articulated at some point so the animations are missing but uh, who knows maybe they will add them at some point and those here should be the remote turrets so the front one is also pilot controlled but the rear one is uh, purely for co-pilots and people who actually man this uh, station so let's see if we power on this thing and we go and enter this turret oh man so this turret can be retracted and it has rails on which uh, it can move which is very nice i think lighting is not ideal but i think you guys get the picture so let's go and see what this turret is all about so when i increase the sensitivity it kind of moves a little bit faster but uh, as you can see this thing here 
actually controls the sensitivity and I'm using W and S to control it. So this is the maximum. We have 160 ammo, which is quite a lot. As you can see, we can shoot a long time with this. So let's see, gyro mode. Okay, that works. Relative mode works. For some reason I cannot switch to staggered mode of shooting, which uh, kind of sucks, but what can you do? The centering works. So as for coverage, uh, we can actually see all the way here. So basically this turret can actually keep the entrance of the ship uh, safe. So if anyone starts to board it and somebody is on this turret, this ship can defend itself even when it's landed. So this is absolutely amazing. All right, so let's now check the next turret. For it's gonna power on. And then this should be the nose turret. Let's see if I can actually show it to you guys. So the owner of the ship right now is manning the bottom twin size 5 turret and man, it's absolutely massive. Look at this. I've got two subwoofers in my room and yeah, I can definitely feel this turret in my guts. So this here very strange I, I i can only shoot with the right mouse button for some reason so this is the nose turret i'm gonna increase the sensitivity so what do we have here so basically what the fuck we can actually shoot oh no actually it doesn't let us shoot but damn we can look at each other from the turrets man jesus christ man Oh man, look at this coverage, like we can absolutely, if this ship is fully manned, we can absolutely cover each angle of the thing. Okay, I can shoot, I can almost shoot through this turret, so this needs to be fixed. I have no idea if I'm damaging the ship, but I assume I'm not. So as you can see, this turret as well rotates a full 360 degrees, which is absolutely insane. It can point 90 degrees to the bottom as well. So basically there is no blind spot on this thing. At least for now in this PTU patch, no blind spots whatsoever, guys. The, these turrets are just absolutely insane, man. Oh, what is this then? So you enter the turret by pressing something on a display. And basically you get the lift to actually bring you inside the turret. Wow. Oh man. Look at this. Gaudarin repeaters, guys. This is insane. Jesus Christ. I cannot stress enough how heavy this turret feels. And guess what, guys? It is able to also rotate uh, 360 degrees. And let's see how far below we can go. So this is 90 degrees, absolute dead, dead bottom, able to shoot on anything that is below you. Nothing can hide. Jesus Christ, man. So centering works like this. So we have 8 degrees ability to shoot upwards here and it starts to increase as much as we go to the right or the left we actually get more degrees ability to shoot so the peak is about 23 degrees up which is crazy okay getting a contact shirt we're about to go get some action we have 90 shots per gathering which is absolutely crazy I think this is uh, way more uh, ammo than the, the Kony can support with uh, its dual size 5 slots. And uh, there can be no overheating on this ship because we have a huge size 3 cooler, which is also the best cooler available. As far as I know, uh, it is the Blizzard cooler, which is uh, military grade A. 
so there is nothing better on the market and this thing can keep all the weapon systems cool at any point all right what is this oh no it's a mustang delta delta the guys mustang delta is about to get evaporated i'm already hitting it So the turn rate on this ship, it reminds me of a Coney quite a bit because it's slow but it's to be expected. After all, we got so much firepower it would be insane if we were able to fly fast as well. So the visibility is uh, quite good, it's not perfect but man, oh, oh, oh god, oh man. Oh, this ship is absolutely insane guys let's try the top turret because the visibility there should be a lot better i also have a redeemer of my own guys which is still in uh, ccu state so i'm basically waiting for uh, the interplanetary space expo to actually get some uh, war bond ccus before i apply this one just to save some cash So what is this? So those are supposed to be the lights? Oh man! Holy shit! Look at this guys! So we have light switches right now and this should be the panic switch I think. It has a exclamation mark on it but maybe it's uh, the shutdown switch. Who knows? There is no explanation on those uh, switches, but damn, look at this. So when you need more light, you just turn on the first one. And this one could be named something like battle stations. I cannot stop falling to the ground. So there is also a fire extinguisher here, so that's nice. We also have this thing here, which is actually the silver blades, oh man. Jesus Christ. Let's hope I don't die from falling repeatedly. So what else can we see? So this ship has a lot of good visibility here, it's the pilot seat, oh man. absolute beast as you can see now i'm gonna try the ship and comment on its uh, maneuverability so this is the exit how can i enter the the seat hmm okay so it appears from here so basically you need to stand back in order for the seat to come back and uh, now it you can just hop inside and okay so first glance it's quite uh, quite lumbering and heavy feeling but uh, if i can compare it to the coney it's way more precise in flight so the rowing it rolls quite slowly but still i think it's uh, right now it's faster than a coney so as you can see oh man so the braking speed from row is slow but it feels just right for the size of the ship now let's see the maximum speed of this thing so conies usually go until like 911 meters per second so this thing is able to go i'm not pressing shift guys okay so way beyond all right, so not really way beyond, but still better than a Coney. So 50 meters per second, roughly faster than a Coney. Jesus. Okay, so when you accelerate, actually, those those wings articulate. Oh man, the nutcrackers actually are articulated. That's crazy. 
Okay, so right mouse button is actually the turret, and we can reassign those if you want. And the ballistics, which are size 4s on the wings, are those on the left mouse button. They seem to have like an explosion kind of uh, animation, which means those could be armor piercing or something like this. Let's see the brakes. So right now we're braking as fast and hard as we can and... Wow, the brakes are actually pretty good on this ship, guys. I'm actually impressed with this. It looks absolutely beautiful, look at this. Wow. It looks angry. It looks absolutely stunning. Jesus, man. So it, it feels actually a lot more agile than its uh, size because it's actually as big as a Coney and still it flies absolutely perfect in my opinion. It's not OP or anything, it's not gonna outrun fighters or even vanguards, but trust me, you can turn on a dime if you want to. Like, look at this. And the boost is absolutely lasting for a long time. And it actually regenerates pretty fast as well, so let's try and put all power to the boost right now. And the regen is absolutely crazy right now, guys. Look at this. I can boost forever. So we've reached the maximum speed already. Now let's do a full 180 degree turn. And now we press the boost as hard as we can. So in less than 5 seconds we're actually able to absolutely turn the ship around. So this means the agility on this thing is so good, you can actually make hammerheads sweat in their, in their pants of fear. The moment that uh, you get too close, you're able to actually just turn around on a dime, float the boost, and you're out of there. So this thing in fights is gonna be insane. I'm just uh, absolutely lost for words, guys. This ship is absolutely fucking insane. I'm sorry for the language, but I just cannot hide my enthusiasm for it. Okay, so we are about to do a small mission because we don't have any high rep in this uh, PTU right now. So let's see how this ship travels. Oh man, oh, oh Jesus. It's absolutely fast like hell. So that Vitek uh, quantum drive is crazy, man. This is quite a perilous place to, to go, guys, because all these asteroids actually are quite clumped up and... Let's t test the brakes, just in case. So it takes uh, three seconds, or maybe four, to brake at half speed, like 50% braking from full speed, so the more you brake, the faster it actually slows down, so that's great. Okay, so let's go test some missiles. And now here comes the shooting. Oh, Jesus! Oh man! Oh god! This ship absolutely, absolutely rips, man! Like no competition. J just imagine something like a Vanguard. If it's not uh, avoiding your direct uh, attacks, it, it's gonna be absolutely deleted. So waypoints are a pain in the ass to set up right now. And in 3.15 there's definitely some problems with waypoints, but what can you do? I'm gonna give CIG some time to fix those. And in the meantime, let me tell you this ship 
either something is very wrong with the quantum drive or it's just so fast that there is no acceleration needed, man. It's just instant. Okay, so if I don't charge the quantum drive, I don't see the waypoint. That sucks. This cannot be the intended way to play this, but it's a pity you guys. What can you do? Alright, so brake now. From 16 clicks we start braking and we're already halfway stopped and... Oh Jesus. This is insanely fast. You can just stop on a dime. So anything that... Uh, so even though we don't have the turn rate uh, of something fast, we are absolutely kings of the braking power and turning on a dime and just changing directions as we please. And now let's see what happens when we start firing on this thing. So this, uh, what is this, an eclipse or something? So we are already turned around. Too close to the rocks. I have no idea how we don't clip those, but... Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Poor Eclipse, guys. It didn't have a chance. <sighs> guys, I don't know what to say. I, I, I just... There is only one thing for me left to test, and this is the top turret. And right now... That's exactly what I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm gonna test this thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This ship is absolutely every bit as much fun as I imagined, and then some. It's just, just crazy. So let's see. Okay, so basically the, the rear turret, you need to actually enter from the rear there. I mean, the top turret, I meant to say. Okay. Now I'm entering it. The animation is not finished as you can see, but still it's working, so that's good. Oh Jesus. The view here is perfect. MFDs are not in the way. Once again we have 360 degree Rotation, let me enable the maximum speed, so this is the max speed at which we can rotate, so... I don't know if you guys can see this, but... It's extremely fast and responsive. For a heavy turret like this, it's absolutely crazy. So you can definitely catch smaller targets as well. You have a 1500 ammo for some Gatlings, and these are the brand new size 5 Gatlings, guys. So in 3.14 we didn't have those, right now we do. So they spin up, so the animation is a little bit, makes uh, the shooting a little bit belated, but still, once it spins up, it rips. Oh man. Let me find a better angle to show you. So this feels like we're watching Predator 1 with Jesse Ventura in it. And as he likes to say, I love this job. Look at this. Look how far the bullets can travel, like... You can see them in the distance, they're glowing. So let's see, I assume we have full 90 degrees on top and... I think that it's actually more than 90 degrees. No, it's actually exactly 90 degrees so as you can see this asteroid there we're able to just look at it and if we want to hit it we definitely can so basically nothing escapes our sights now it's time for a mission to actually test this thing oh man so the fire rate of those guns, I have no idea how much uh, it is, but let's just watch, so... 
1175 roughly bullets remaining. Let's see what happens now. So it's roughly maybe 10 bullets per second or something like this. So it may have the same fire rate as the RS Inferno, which is uh, 650 bullets uh, per minute. And this is roughly the same. As you can see, we have only 500 ammo less than the RS, which means uh, actually we have more, but per barrel we have less. So the RS uh, Inferno has 2000 ammo in total, and we have two barrels uh, on 1500 ammo each. So that's a total of 3000 ammo, but since we cannot shoot separately the barrels and they always shoot together, it's actually just 115 times 2 damage. So let's see if, if we can press B. Okay, so that's staggered mode, and this is non staggered. That's staggered. So basically, this doubles our fire rate, so we were able to shoot and uh, probably hit targets more reliably. And now, so this is 3.2k distance, and I am able to already close in on the target. Come on, yes, so 3.9k, and I'm, I'm absolutely able to shoot it. The reticle is already telling me I can shoot this target, and we're landing some hits on it right now. So there's some spread, as you can see. The spread actually prevents me from absolutely annihilating this thing, but for bigger targets, they stand no chance because they cannot escape the spread. So only on small targets they are able to kind of give us the slip, but not for long because remember this this ship has uh, four turrets and uh, two mounted guns on the on the wings which the pilot can control. So basically, you are looking at uh, ten guns or something like this. All right, so. Let's get a feel of where this target is gonna go. And it's gone. So basically you just uh, give the guns some leeway and uh, try to shoot in front of the target. And uh, what, what ends up happening is actually this spread helps you land hits on it. So it just acts like sort of a spray, like it does like this. Up and down, up and down, yeah, actually you, you can hit things pretty reliably. Look at the spread, guys. It's crazy. So even if you cannot concentrate fully on a small target, some of the bullets will land, and if it's a paperweight like this was, it's absolutely going go, gonna go down. It's no doubt about it. So now we're gonna go and get some extra action on the next target. One of the biggest things on this ship that is most important, I think, is the pilot. He needs to be able to figure out how to position himself and the ship just to be able to hit uh, targets more reliably. So right now, I'm waiting for the pilot to actually readjust our position because this is the blind spot. I cannot hit the target as we are right now, but now I pretty much can. All right, let's line them up. This is it. It's just... it's just it, man. I've barely had like uh, 10 minutes of shooting practice with this ship. I've changed all positions and let me tell you, once you get the hang of it, you cannot miss anything. Even if you end up missing half of the shots, the other half is gonna hit and man, the fighters don't, don't stand a chance. This thing is gonna shred everything. Oh, one last thing, guys. Before I let you go, let's see how much money we actually need to pay to restock the ammo on this ship. So now the landing gear is being drawn out. You can actually steer it like a helicopter. It's so fast on the stopping that it's crazy. Look at this landing. Perfect. Wow. 
those are the lights below the ship you can see nothing but in front of the ship look at this look at the power of those LED lights guys look at this thing okay so let's see how much it costs to actually restock the ammo and it's only just below 2000 UEC this is nothing guys it actually costs more to refill than to just restock the ammo which is uh, size 5 as I said well guys I think this pretty much wraps it up so let's just go outside and take a, a last look of the ship just take a long look at this thing so at some point John Crew said that we're gonna be able to taxi on those wheels which means they have actually motors they're motorized so we will be able to actually land on a Kraken or something and just roll on the wheels instead of having to lift off so this this is just insane look at the detail look at those hydraulics man here are the turrets so the, the bottom turret doesn't have the best uh, visibility but still it's more than enough to be able to be effective in battle here are the nutcracker engines which actually articulate so that's, that was just uh, the tip of the iceberg that's the turret over there the back one and to, if you power down the ship this turret is gonna just slot back in and reduce the profile of the ship nice man thank you so much for letting me fly the ship it was absolutely amazing man just gorgeous the perfect ship